Hey everybody, it's Chris Clark with DiscGolf.Law coming to you today to chat about confidentiality agreements, um, sometimes called non-disclosure agreements or NDAs. Um, if you're uh, a subscriber to our YouTube channel or if you're seeing us on TikTok or on another platform, um, it's likely that you are in the business of disc golf, either as a disc golf related business or as a uh, professional player or an aspiring player. Um, if so, um, listen up. This is uh, good information for you. NDAs are typically used when two parties want to discuss a potential transaction, a potential deal of some type, but they wanna keep the terms confidential. They don't want the terms to get out. Often you'll see these types of agreements as standalone agreements. They're just a contract by themselves. And then other times they may be part or incorporated into a larger agreement. We have a few myths or misunderstandings about non-disclosure agreements. Um, and I thought I could just help uh, educate you today on you know, what's right and what's not. Um, about what you may have heard. So uh, one common misconception is that um, NDAs are not enforceable. Um, that's not true, they absolutely are enforceable, but there's a reason that they've earned that reputation of not being enforceable. And that is that frequently they are not written correctly. So if you think that you have a non-disclosure agreement in place, and that the confidential information that you and the other party are sharing with each other is protected. But it actually turns out that the agreement wasn't written correctly, then yeah, your confidential information probably isn't going to be protected. And that's going to be a problem and you're going to be disappointed. Um, and, and you're going to conclude from that perhaps that, oh, well, these confidentiality agreements aren't enforceable. I had one and it turned out it really wasn't worth the paper it was written on. So the most important message I can convey to you is this. If you're doing some type of a transaction, some type of a deal, it can be anything, whether it's between a sponsor and a player, whether it's two businesses or companies considering to work together, early on at the preliminary steps of these discussions, get a non-disclosure agreement in place between those parties that is well written and uniquely custom tailored for that particular transaction. That is so important. You can't just download a template NDA from the internet and have two people sign it and assume it is going to meet your needs. Might it work? Maybe, but especially with NDAs, the chances are not great because again, that's going to be a template that you've downloaded that just covers sort of a broad, generic, vague scenario. You really want the language of that document in order for it to be enforceable to pertain to specifically the transaction that you are trying to accomplish, that confidential information that you are trying to keep confidential. How long does a confidentiality agreement last? How long should it last? What should it cover? Should it cover both parties disclosing information or only one? These are all things you gotta think about. We'd love to talk to you about those. Reach out to us at discgolf.law. Shoot us a note, let us know your questions about it. We'll come back, we'll do a follow-up video.